Welcome to Paradise on Earth. This is Bantayan Island in Philippines. So we've been on this beautiful island for the past couple of days and uh, just took it a little easy, relaxed on the beach, had a few drinks yesterday. Uh, it's just a really beautiful place to just wind down. Okay, and in the next couple of days, we're going to be exploring the island and showing you everything there is to do here, including beautiful beaches, a lagoon, and mangroves. There's so much to see and we can't wait to show you. Yeah, so we started the day a little bit late today because we had some unforeseen challenges, but we're not <laughs> going to get into that right now because no. we are hungry. We need to find a place to eat. Yes, we'll share more about that later, yeah. but this girl needs some food, so let's go get let's some. Let's go get some, yeah. <sighs> and we made it to Amazon Cafe Restaurant, I believe it's the name. And uh, the food already looks really delicious. I'm so hungry. It smells good. <laughs> the vibe here is really, really cool. Very yeah. tropical, nice music. So friendly service. <laughs> Let's dig in. I'm okay. so hungry. <laughs> Ah, this was a much, much needed snack. Yes, now I have energy and I'm ready for the beach. Yeah, so um, the owner there is super, super nice. He actually gave us um, a couple of tips on like where to go, where to get the island hopping tours. Yeah, so super nice and helpful. <laughs> so cute. He's like so passionate about the island and sharing everything there is to do with the island. So awesome tips. Thank you so much. Thank and you. now we are ready to hit up all these places. All right, let's go to Kota Beach, our first stop of the day. So the best way to get to Kota Beach is just this one long, long street that leads up to the uh, beach from the main street. You'll pass by a couple of high schools, which is really cool to see. And then at the very end, at the beach, there is the beach resort, the Kota Beach Resort. And I always see the beach, it looks like beautiful the watercolor is amazing it is a bright beautiful sunny day which is awesome because we have had a few rainy days yeah the last couple of weeks and we were actually talking to some locals and they were saying that this season has been some of the worst with rain they typically don't get rain around this yeah. time but yeah for over 15 years like someone was telling us today that it hasn't been that bad so, it's insane. we are so. really happy about this beautiful yes. blue sky, sunny day. <laughs> I love Kota Beach because of a sandbank. It is so cool and I still can't believe it that it's like afternoon here and there are barely any people here. Nobody. Like, it's it's like, crazy. Like 10 people on that massive sandbank. Yeah, you can really have a spot kind of all to yourself and go on long beach walks. It is absolutely Beautiful. stunning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's also like the, the beach that is the closest to the center where all the restaurants are, where the bars are, coffee places are. So I, very convenient. I love the, the quotation marks in center because really it's uh, it's a very small it, town yeah. with a couple of roads, but it is definitely charming. If you want to experience the island life, this is the place to do it. 100%. <laughs> Okay, let us catch you up a little bit on what happened this morning. So we realized that the next place we're going to go, Shargo, the weather is really not good. No, not good at all. <laughs> it's raining every day and thunderstorming. And I know the apps are not always right, but we did talk with a few locals as well as other people that have been there recently. And they confirmed that the weather is bad. So we had to pivot uh, because it's no fun being somewhere for actually we were planning to be there for nine nights. Yeah. And no fun being somewhere where it rains. It's hard for us to make videos for you and of course for us to enjoy it as well. So we pivoted, but it was difficult to pivot because we had to change flights and hotels and lots of different things. Daniel had to make some calls. 
one of the hotels could not find a reservation so way more complicated than it usually is exactly and that gets to show that even us when we are we're traveling a lot so sometimes we just have to like move things around so don't get discouraged when not everything goes by plan yeah right? This morning was chaotic and on top of all the different changes of plans that we had to make, we also misplaced my little card with my bank cards in it. So yeah, yeah we turned our uh, room upside down looking for it and had a little bit of a panic, but we found it all good, just misplaced. But yeah, it was uh, one of it those It was a mornings. morning, yeah, exactly. It was a good opportunity to uh, clean up our room a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always looking on the positive side. Exactly. Our I tried to. clean now. <laughs> Huh, yeah. Just a very quick walk away from Kota Beach is Sugar Beach. We honestly almost really missed her, yeah? Yeah, it really looks like one beach together. I personally like Kota Beach more where the sandbank is. It's yeah. more a fun place to hang out and it looks uh, more pretty. But Sugar Beach is pretty cool because it has a bunch of different boats on it. So it's fun to walk around and look at all the different types of boats. Exactly. And on your way to Sugar Beach, you pass, like Dana said, like lots of boats, restaurants, a couple of bars which we are heading to now and grab a beer. We got our beers. Cheers. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Welcome to day two here in Bantayan. We are at the Mangrove Eco Park. It was just about a 15 minute scooter drive from the main Santa Fe area town where most tourists stay. And, and let me tell you, <laughs> that drive is so gorgeous. It's amazing. You're driving through palm trees and like along the coast. Really, really nice drive. Yeah. yeah. Short drive, but super scenic and awesome. <laughs> We've just been here just for a few minutes and entered and already it looks awesome. We can't wait to explore. Yeah. There's a cool boardwalk with bamboo and it looks like it's going to be a very nice, again, scenic walk. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We've been loving the last couple of days because we actually don't have to get up super early in the morning. We usually try to be one of the first at every uh, more like touristy um, place, but we are almost the only people here. Like it's insane. It's really a hidden paradise. So make sure to visit Bantayan early before it gets overcrowded. Yeah, I really think this place is going to become more and more popular because yeah. it's truly a paradise and has so much to offer. So now we're really happy that we can enjoy it with basically no tourists. We've yeah. barely seen any tourists while <laughs> we've been here. And even this boardwalk, we can just enjoy it all by ourselves. And wow, it is so It is stunning. cool, yeah. The roots of these mangroves are just like so fascinating. <laughs> it looks to me like, you know, when you have a bunch of different wires all screwed scrambled in uh, in a house it yeah it's <laughs> that's what it reminds me it's kind of it's a, it's a weird analogy it's, it's all tangled up you know <laughs> yeah. like kind of like wires i mean much prettier than wires though yeah. okay let's check out a few of the few points we saw on the map there's like a bamboo, bamboo tower. tower looks a little shaky yeah yeah I'm we'll see be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting one Okay, so far not as uh, shaky as I thought it is. It's actually really sturdy. I thought it's gonna be really like moving around a lot, but it is not. Wow, you can see the mangroves back there. And actually, that's the ocean right over there at the back. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. It's so quiet, you can hear birds chirping, 
and some karaoke <laughs> which you can hear everywhere in the philippines it's so funny karaoke is so big here so popular um even the locals that we met on the on the boat over here she was mentioning like if you hear someone screaming at the backyard don't call the police that's normal that's just karaoke <laughs> it's like okay it's good to know i love it it's so funny yeah And we just entered the mangrove tunnel, which is basically, you walk through the mangroves, they're so close. They're so close, <laughs> and they look so cool, and they're shade, which is really, oh. really nice, because it is getting really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, let's enjoy that shade for now, because we're going to go um, to Paradise Beach later, and I don't know if there is shade there. Probably not, but well, I feel much. like it's hard to find shade on, on most beaches, so let's enjoy it while we can. <laughs> So this is definitely one of the touristier places that we've uh, visited on the island so far. Yeah. But um, I think it's still worth coming. It's only 55 pesos entrance fee. And it's a nice break from like the beaches and the waterfalls that yeah, you would change it up. <laughs> exactly. But talking about beaches, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head back to Escudo now and go to Paradise Beach. I'm really excited about that because it was highly recommended everywhere. Yeah. Let's go. And we made it to Paradise Beach, which is actually called Sandira Beach. Okay. <laughs> Never refers to it as Paradise Beach, but if you're looking up on Google Maps, make sure to put Sandira Beach to get there. And you can trust Google Maps for once. <laughs> we almost didn't because that road down there is a little bit questionable. Yeah, we thought was taking us down a wrong road because we didn't see any sign off the main road where it's mm -hmm. telling us to turn the only sign that we saw was the ivory castles mm -hmm. we're like this can't be right also the road is uh a little bumpy <laughs> and a little weird so we weren't sure it was right but locals confirmed we we're going the right way and we made it oh yeah we actually did a quick detour to Bantayan town to see the Peter and Paul church which is uh, one of the oldest churches in the entire Philippines and it's amazing it was built in the 1500s and it just recently redid the entire ceiling and the detail it's it's incredible like, it's so wow. cool yeah it is Whew. but now i'm ready for the beach yes <laughs> me too so when you get here there is a little parking lot for your scooter back there and then you just pay 25 pesos per person as an entrance fee and yeah you make your way down where apparently are some stairs there i'm curious how this is gonna be Let's check it out. I'm oh, yeah. excited. And we made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just made it down to the beach and walked all over to the other side. And it is just beautiful. So, so pretty. <laughs> So apparently there is a different way to get uh, on the beach as well, but we have not found that yet. Uh, maybe we can check it out later, we'll see. Yeah, someone told us <laughs> when we were walking on the way here that apparently the other way down you can see a really nice view of the beach. So maybe we'll find it later, but for now we're just gonna set up and enjoy this beautiful beach. I can't get over it, the sand is so stunning and the water is very calm and clear. So. I definitely need to go into the yes. water to cool down and relax and chill. Yeah, let's set up shop and enjoy the sun. Really enjoy the afternoon here. It is a fun place to hang out. 
yeah it is an awesome awesome beach uh, just make sure that you bring your water and a few snacks because there are not a lot of amenities here there's a small store right at the entrance but that's pretty much it once you're done here there's nothing <laughs> yes make sure you have plenty of water and you don't come here hungry <laughs> make sure that you ate before because there are no restaurants exactly speaking about hungry we're gonna make our way now to hungry beach which is a food court directly on the beach with tons of restaurants and bars a recommendation that we got from a local a couple days ago super excited and we'll see you there welcome to hungry beach so hungry beach is actually just a very short scooter ride away from the main town area or also super accessible from the beach hungry <laughs> i am really hungry so i would say we're gonna check out this food court yeah and get some drinks yes <laughs> let's go <laughs> we hope you enjoy exploring Bantayan Island with us. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. We're going to be doing an epic island hopping here. And we've heard amazing things, so we can't wait to show you around. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to upcoming videos. See you in the next one.